Saturday afternoon in the workshop working on another project again or an old project again so I used to have this battery here which was based on old Nissan Leaf cells used to have this running at a 14S it was my house battery um, if you go and look at some of my other videos you'll see all about how I built it um, but then I got some Tesla batteries from taking apart a crashed Tesla which the tailgate is up there not that one and not this one um, and not the batteries from inside of this Tesla battery anyhow diversion um, I got some Tesla batteries and I was running them in parallel with this but they were 12s or two lots of 6s this was 14s so I had to lose two series out of the batteries to make it work and so I took this load out here as you can see there is no set of Tesla batteries there and there is batteries here so a while ago I sold the Tesla batteries to a an autonomous flight company called Piker who somehow had managed to bugger their own ones up um, and needed some in a drastic hurry so that was good for me pitching um, and then eventually I got round to have now finally got round to putting some more batteries back into this so that it's back up to a 14s and back up to more like 14 kilowatt hours so yeah back to being more useful now these cells that I put in <clears throat> are fairly low on volts compared to the rest of the pack if I show you here on the BMS the what the um, battery that I'm running I think you can guess which ones are the ones that are the ones that are new and too low so yes it's these guys here uh, they're at 3.78 whereas everybody else is at around about 4 so that is then when we get into craziness so down here in this plywood box is about 2 kilowatt hours worth of lithium ion phosphates um, at 24 volts they are being used by this charger to charge up that bank of cells there to bring it up to the right voltage. This lithium ion phosphate pack is being charged by this Grin Cycle Analyst which is an awesomely versatile charger which is running from the wall, which is running from this inverter, which is running from the batteries it's charging. I think that's kind of funny. Um, and then to be able to manage this charger, it's a Power Lab, Cell Pro Power Lab 8. It's a very good, amazing actually little piece of kit, especially considering its size. We've got the software in on here. So there's the voltage over time. And there's the actual inter um, interface. And so this laptop is also running from mains, running from this outlet running from this battery so yeah i like the circularity of that how <laughs> this battery is being charged in a way by itself so i know that the battery is also getting solar in but this is also even if there wasn't solar there would be kind of a circuit going from here so taking from everything going through this convoluted mess here and then putting it back into just one yeah it kind of kind of got some kind of a, um, a symmetry to it or a neatness but yeah that's um, one more little project nearly done or nearly back to where it was only about a million other projects to get on with in this workshop um, who knows one day I might get them done but then what would I do all right I hope you found that vaguely interesting catch you later